Do you know what is the purpose of physics? Think about it for a second. If you think that physics is a subject containing huge mathematical derivations, just for writing in exams, then you might be wrong. Physics is a tool which helps us to understand the universe accurately. Physics changed a lot till 18th century when compared to physics in 13th and 14th centuries. There were some incidents where people even punished the scientists for stating that the Earth is revolving around the Sun. If we travel back in time where people had not accepted the facts to today's technological world, physics is one of the reasons for the development of human civilization. But the humanity's goal is to understand the universe. When we see mathematics in olden days, we cannot explain the behavior of the universe using physics. We need to update our science. Exactly that is where Newton came up with his calculus and some of the laws of physics. Newton stood as an undefeated legend for nearly four centuries. But when the Einstein era came, he proposed some of the most beautiful theories such as relativity which disproves the Newton's perception of gravity. The time when Einstein proposed the theory of relativity, he is just a patent clerk in the Swiss patent office. So people started criticizing Einstein by stating that his theories are all the Jewish science. At the same time physics had the most famous experiment known to be Young's double slit experiment. The results of this experiment are mind-blowing for the physics community at that time. What is the Young's double slit experiment and outcomes of this experiment are coming up right now. Stay tuned and welcome to Kanza. The Young's double slit experiment was conducted by Thomas Young in the year 1801. When we take a sheet containing a couple of slits and placing a photosensitive screen and adjust in such a way that it is just beyond the sheet. When we project photons using photon gun, then it has to travel along the sheet containing slits and it must reach the photosensitive screen. Can you guess what will happen now? The photons have to travel through the slit and they must stick to the screen. But contradiction to our thoughts, these photons are spreading across the screen by making a wave pattern. Like if we conduct the same experiment in water, the water travels in such a way that it makes a wave pattern and spread across the screen. Exactly that behavior is shown by photons. The physicists wanted to study this mysterious behavior of photons. They conducted the experiment again. But this time, they placed an observer to see what is happening to photons. Because at that time they all believed that the light is just particles. So they wanted to see why the photons are behaving like a waves by placing an observer. But this time they started behaving like particles and didn't represent any wave pattern. This sudden twist put the scientists into the question mark. When no one is observing them, they are behaving as a waves. But someone is watching them, they represent a particle. This behavior raised a lot of questions. Does the particles have their own consciousness? The answer for this is still unknown. If we see, by using classical mechanics, we cannot describe such phenomenon. A new branch of physics born that is quantum mechanics. From this experiment they have concluded that light is not just a particle but it's also a wave, most commonly known as wave-particle duality. In classical physics when we conduct the same experiment again, we get the same outcomes. But in quantum mechanics, same experiments doesn't get same results. This is the origin of quantum mechanics. That it's it for today. In the next video we will discuss about the Schrodinger's equation.